For this lesson, I'm going to cover what is hashing. A hash is a fixed size string of numbers, for example, 128 numbers. A hashing function can take any file, such as a text, audio, video, program, etc., and produce a unique hash based on that file. The resulting hash is a string of numbers unique to that file. Even a small change in the file will produce an entirely different hash value. A hash is similar to a fingerprint. Fingerprints are unique shapes on people's fingers that uniquely identify them. Hashes work in a similar manner. Hashes uniquely identify files. For example, let's say you had a text file with the word password in it. If you ran it through a hashing function, for example, MD5, also known as Message Digest Algorithm 5, it would produce a specific hash value. If you change a text file so that it had the word passwords with an S at the end, it would produce an entirely different hash. This is because a file is different. It has its own unique hash. You've probably seen a hash value when you downloaded a piece of software on the internet. Software producers post hash values so that users can verify the integrity of their software. For example, after you download a piece of software, you can calculate its hash value. If this hash value matches the value of the website, then you know it's not been tampered with. If it does not match, then you know you shouldn't download it. All right, let's use the MD5 hash generator and type the word password in the string field. This is the MD5 hash value that we get. All right, let's add an S at the end of password and see what happens. Notice that our hash value has changed. Let's do the same thing on the secure hashing algorithm hash generator. OK, this is the hash value that we get. All right, let's put an S at the end of passwords. Notice that our hash value has changed. All right, there you have it.